Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my full review of the Kodak PlaySport ZX5. Now this is a brand new video camera from Kodak. If you haven't seen my previous footage on this, I have done an unboxing and I've been using this for sort of a weekly diary update over on the Daily Tech TV channel. So you can see how this performs uh, in different scenarios. Uh, I also did an unboxing, so I'm not going to go over that as well, but this is what the retail box looks like and you can see we can get different colours of the camera as well very very uh, nicely presented packaging and uh, absolutely superb camera I'm going to give you a closer look at this now now this particular camera is capable of capturing 1080p footage let me just switch this on and it's also uh, waterproof as well you can go down to 3 metres uh, for um, uh, for waterproof and up to 1.5 meter shot proof so if you drop this from around about the four foot mark it should survive the drop now let me just give you a quick tour under here we've got a flap that comes up which reveals the SD card there is a small amount of inbuilt memory I think it's about 128 megabytes something like that but up to 32 gigabyte card supported around the front we've got the, um, uh, the lens and also the microphone pickup Around this side, another flap which reveals USB port used for charging or transferring data off the device and a mini HDMI port. You get all the cables supplied in the box, which is good. Something people always ask me, does it have a tripod mount? Yes, it does. Does it have a lanyard connection? Yes, it does. Does it have an input for a microphone? No, it doesn't. So no external microphone on this one. Power on off button on the top. Nice screen on the back. A very good colour rendition on the screen as well. And then the controls are extremely easy. We've got a record button here which switches between uh, video capture and still capture. We've got a playback button which allows you to play back previously captured footage. We've got a trash can which allows you to delete uh, captured footage as well. And then we've got a little spanner icon here which allows you to go into the settings. When you're in the settings you've got this four-way rocker which is used for various controls but in the menu you can come down through the menu. Now we're in the playback menu so this gives us a slightly different view to the settings. If I go back across to the record menu and then hit that button again it's a slightly different again we've got no trim option at the top so no editing option selectable. Now we've got effects underwater correction, video resolution, let me just show you what video resolutions are available we've got HD 1080p, 720p at 60 frames per second, 720p at 30 frames per second, WVGA that is all of the settings available on video resolution so let's go back one step out to focus mode now this is really nice, normally on the previous cameras there was an actual switch that you would hit to switch between auto and macro mode here we've got an actual menu selectable uh, mode for the type of focus you're going to get and that macro mode I showed you this in one of the videos on the Daily Tech TV channel works very well indeed so let's go back out one section on that menu and go further down we've got microphone gain which is going to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone we have got sounds and LED switching that on and off LCD brightness and glare shield date and time share settings for putting in account information etc video output language reset settings format memory card and about I'm just going to go back up to share settings because I think I gave you a bum deal on that one if we go into share settings it actually doesn't allow you to put in information but it allows you to select which ones are visible in your menu so we've got Kodak Gallery, Facebook, Flickr uh, in or Cakesin001, Orkut, uh, Twitter, Yandex, YouTube, new email, delete email and then it goes all the way back up to the top. Now when we're back into the play menu uh, we can select a video and then hit the share button and this allows you to select which services you want to share it with and also put in your settings for the sharing. Now I've only got two different options enabled here uh, Flickr or YouTube so it allows easy sharing between those two services because they're the only ones I've selected to be visible in this menu. 
So let's go back out to the, uh, let's click done actually, and we go back out to the main menu, and then we go back into record feature. The recording on this is really good, let me just stick that box under. Uh, so to record, we're simply, all we have to do, actually let's go into uh, our menu again, and let's go into focus mode, and switch this round to macro, just so you get to see it a little bit better, because we're quite close to that box. So you can see it focuses very well, I can go really close to this actually, and it will still stay in focus. We're probably only about what, five or six centimetres away from the text and it's still in focus. To record, you just hit the centre button, starts recording, it starts counting up in this timer, and then to stop recording, you just hit that centre button again. That is it, that's as simple as it gets. You've seen the results that this has been producing on the Daily Tech TV channel. I've been extremely pleased with the low light performance. Daylight performance is absolutely awesome. The macro mode, extremely good as well. I think the only thing that's probably disappointed me a little bit is the microphone. When you're quite close to the camera, the microphone performs superbly. When you set it probably about four to five feet away from you, then it does uh, lack in detail and clarity a little bit. You can adjust the microphone gain, but it doesn't perform as well as I'd want it to uh, at a distance. But this is all about action. This is more of an action camera, so you're probably going to be quite close up. You're going to be narrating when you're standing just behind the camera, and for that sort of thing, it's absolutely superb. I like the construction of it, the build quality is very good. I like these little flip up doors. These are really nice as well and they've got sort of seals around them as well. Let me just show you that, there's a seal around that one. Let me just show you this one as well. There's sort of a rubber seal, if I can get this to focus in. There we go, rubber seal around that and that protects the ports that it covers. So this rubber seal goes around those two ports and when it clips into place you've got a nice waterproof seal. So great, great camera. Big improvement over the previous models. This is the Kodak PlaySport ZX5. Recommended retail price is just under £150. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you shop around, but it is a new model, so it's not going to be a lot cheaper than that. But I think it's well worth the £150 asking price. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.